Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you a very cool Demon Hunter deck and as you can see it's gonna rely a lot on Priestess of Fury. It's a very powerful card with good stats, 6-7 seven for 7 mana and she deals 6 damage among all enemies at the end of every turn. The other good cards we have are the um, Imprisoned Anton which will give us the control of the board and we'll also use the Skull of Gul'dan right here to draw cards and as you can see the outcast effect is amazing like it reduced their cost by 3 it's so powerful. Let's give it a try right now. Illidan versus okay, Gash. against Warrior. Victory or death. This ends now. Let's keep the weapon and the watcher. So it's kind of a um, mid-range demon hunter, that means we can be aggressive, we can control the board, but not if the game takes too long. Let's pass. This place is scary. He's gonna be a very defensive warrior as I can see. Let's summon the watcher. And let's take the Skull of Gul'dan, it's a very powerful card. Splody, go get him! All right, let's summon another Sightless Watcher. Eyes, truly... And let's take the Furious Falfin for next turn, and then let's pressure him a little. Okay, hey, let's get the weapon. We'll upgrade it. And I think I'm gonna kill this one. Okay, next turn we need to control the board a little bit more, so I plan on playing this card, but we'll see what he plays now. Okay, it's so gonna be time to react, so I'm gonna play this one. You will regret imprisoning. And I think, I think I'm gonna pass. On wings of evil. Somebody order a bomb. It hurts. But next turn, everything's gonna explode. Okay, it's gonna be time to get the board back, so I'm gonna use the eye beam against this one. I'm gonna play this one so I can draw. Then we're gonna summon this one too. We're gonna attack this stoned minion. So now we can use our Furious Felfin, which gets plus one attack and rush. And we're gonna suicide it into this one. So positioning is very important in your hand. So now this card can activate its outcast effect and this is on the extreme left. So now he has a choice. Next turn. I'm gonna deal 10 damage. From nothing. The bomb is coming. Let's see if we can kill the whole board or not. Depending on how much damage goes to his its face. Boom! Alright, not too bad, but not the best either. Let's use the Skull of Gul'dan. Alas, poor warlock. Then we're gonna use the Umberwing. 
Deal one damage. Summon this one. And rush it. This place is scary. Okay, so let's try to activate our second skull of Golden. So we need to use Twin Slice twice in order to do that. So now I can draw. Alas, poor warlock. Ooh, powerful. So see, Priestess of Fury is now only four. So I think we're going to play one of these and attack. Boom, boom. Get some more power. Attack with him face, face. And summon the priestess. See, we dealt six damage to his face since he had an empty board. Ooh, spending a lot there. So we get two bombs, that means we can die if we draw one. Okay, nice. Let's get some health back by playing the War Blades. Gonna attack his face. So now we can use the Glaive Bone Adept to deal four damage to this one. And we're gonna summon our second Priestess. And it's gonna be very low health. So next turn we can activate Metamorphosis. And we're not going to get killed by the two bombs if we ever draw them one after the other. No tomb can hold me. He doesn't know about this card. No tomb can hold me. Okay. Well played. Alright, so as you can see, this deck is very strong. We were losing quite hard in the early game, but we managed to come back thanks to this card right here. The Imprisoned Anton. It dealt 10 damage that, that enabled us to get back the board and snowball from there. Also, as you could see, positioning is very important. We got lucky and we could draw two Skull of Gul'dan. And we managed to wait for the right moment to play them so we could activate the outcast effect which is way too strong thanks to that i could make some crazy combos as you could see so when you play demon hunter don't be afraid to lose too much health all right you get some tools some lifesteal cards the important thing is to adapt depending on your opponent here we were against some aggressive warriors, so controlling the board was very important. We didn't get very lucky early game, but usually this deck has very strong openings that will get you far enough to snowball everything. So now let's take a closer look at what we have in the deck. So on top of the Priesthood of Fury, the Skull of Gul'dan and Imprison Anton, we get some crazy tools as well. Just like the Sightless Watcher, which can make you choose between three cards and choose one to put on top. That means when you draw it, the outcast effect will be immediate. That means you can use it to draw the Skull of Gul'dan or other outcast effect that you might need. If my health is too low, I can use the War Blaze right here because it has lifesteal and I can get more attack using different cards in my deck. So most of these cards are very cheap, so you don't have to ruin all your dust to get them. The most powerful cards you need are rare and some are epic. There are some exceptions, okay, some legendaries just like the... Um, the Kane Sun Fury, which is a crazy card, as you can see, has charge and all friendly attacks ignore taunt, so that means you can really one shot, okay? That's the final card to play to one shot one enemy when he's not expecting it because he could be he could have an army of taunt minions 
Okay, but with this card you can get right through it. And we also have the Glaive Bone Adept right here. So once I attack, I can deal 4 damage, either to a minion or right to the face. You can control the board or put pressure with this card. So that was a summary of all the good cards you need. You can see the list on the right here. Now, as a tradition, we're gonna open a pack from the latest expansion. So I have 3 packs of Ashes of Outland and we're gonna open one together. Okay, wish me luck. Let's go. Okay, so let's see. Nothing, nothing. Oh, a rare card, okay. Nothing and nothing, all right. Didn't get that lucky, so let's see what we got. Okay, the Dragon Moskai Stalker. We got Apotheosis. So it can give lifesteal, it's not such a bad card. We got the Shaman card, deal three damage, summon a three cost minion. We got a deal two, gain two armor for a warrior. And the rare card is a Vivid Spores to give Death Rattle Resummon this minion for Shaman. This is a very cool card. We could make like original decks with it. So that's it for this episode in Hearthstone. I hope you guys could learn the different tactics to play as a Demon Hunter. Don't hesitate to craft this deck. It's very cheap and I'm sure it can make you climb very fast. I hope you enjoyed this game. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you did. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Oh.